Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people who took it for the team. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Took a class in college that I didn't want to take, but if I didn't, the class wouldn't be run and two other people would not be able to graduate. Whoa, he took it for the team. He really did. They spent thousands of dollars to take it for the team. That's actually really nice of them. I was a freshman in high school and it was homecoming. Our class pulled a really bad prank on this girl who had a learning disability and voted for her to be the freshman rep as a joke and she won. Well, the guy that got voted to walk with her backed out the day before and I was second in line. Being a freshman, knowing it was a joke and knowing I'd have to walk her down with everyone watching, I was mortified but I did it. I remember my stepbrother giving me and laughing at me and then my stepfather found out what I was going to do. He chewed my stepbrother out and was immensely proud of me. I don't think she ever figured out it was a joke and she was so happy that night. It was probably the highlight of her high school years honestly. <gasps> Some 25 years later my dad ran into her parents and they still thanked me to him. You just never know whose life you might touch. Be kind. <gasps> Seriously everyone else teasing her about it and joking about it. They're the real mean people. I was out with a bunch of my friends and the designated driver left us about 10 minutes into the party. I did not have my license but I knew the people I was with and knew they would drive drunk. So I didn't drink and I drove them home. Got pulled over and they asked for license and registration. I gave him the registration but said I didn't have my license. He started in on me and asking why I was driving without a license and I pointed to each person in the car and said drunk, 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 drunk and I didn't drink. He gave me back the registration and said carry on. Oh that's nice of the cop. That's actually pretty nice. I was on a cruise and they were doing auditions for the end of trip show where you're impersonating a well known performer or song. We were over an hour into the karaoke time and no one had auditioned yet. I'd had a few drinks and figured what's the worst that could happen. That's how I found myself performing on stage as Ricky Martin with backup dancers. <laughs> I love Ricky Martin. Oh my gosh, backup dancers. Everyone just joined in and they were just having the time of their lives. That's cute. Was in a car ride with my girlfriend and some family. My girlfriend lets out a nasty fart and my uncle starts complaining about the smell. It was the first time my girlfriend met these people and I figured it would be super awkward if they figured it was her. So I took responsibility for the fart. Besides, some more complaints directed at me, nothing else happened. The fart was hella stinky, so I don't blame them for complaining at all. <laughs> Cute. That's adorable. Was at a house party being the designated driver. Sloshed best friend told me he thought my mum was hot and then puked all over the table with all the ladies' purses sitting on it. I saved them all from doom and then cleaned up the bath while everyone got mad at me for allowing it to happen. I remember apologizing profusely, but looking back, screw all of them. I saved their handbags. Right? Screw them all. And why are you getting mad at the person who didn't poop? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, how could you allow your best friend to poop? How could you? Like, how were they supposed to know the best friend was going to poop? What the heck? I was an early employee at a game studio and we had fallen on hard times. Myself and the other founders all went to 25% salary for a few months to keep from letting people go. It was very hard as I didn't have much slack in my budget. We made it through. Some of the best times of my life. <gasps> oh, I think as long as you have people there for you, everything will be fine. A bunch of friends and myself were going on an 8 mile hike during a group camping trip. Before we left, one of our friends kept voicing his skepticism about being able to complete an 8 mile hike. His girlfriend kept urging him to go because she didn't want to hang back with him, she wanted to hike. So he ends up going. About an hour and a half into the hike, we are going up a series of switchbacks and the dude just couldn't do it anymore. He tells us that he's going back. We all kind of looked to his girlfriend to see if she was going to accompany him back and she just turns around to keep moving forward. <laughs> She's like, nah, screw him. She should have went back with him. Isn't it like a rule that, you know, if you're out in the wild, it should always be two people <laughs> going together. A couple of us were in the back kind of looking back towards him and then up towards the others who are continuing on. And then one of my other friends says, should someone go with him? And we all kind of look at each other hesitantly. I finally jump in and say, I will go back with him so that everyone else can keep going. 
I catch up to him and he says I didn't have to do that, but I tell him that I don't want him being alone all day. We make it back to camp and he immediately goes to take a nap and I end up sitting at camp by myself for the next four hours until the rest of the people get back. I guess I should have listened to him when he said I didn't have to come back with him. No, I think it was a good idea you went with him because if something happened, that would have felt so bad. My grandmother was getting older and struggling to get to the bathroom every time. Well, one time she didn't make it and someone had to help her take a bath. I jumped at the opportunity, got her all cleaned and pretty and smelling great, brushed her hair just before bed too. Why? Because she raised me from two to five. The learning years, the potty training, the reading or writing, teaching me to tie my shoes, add and subtract, letters and numbers, all her. She was patient and kind and understanding and loving and immensely wise. So me giving her bath, I'd do it again tomorrow. I miss her. Oh, this is gonna make me cry. Right, I feel like a lot of people don't appreciate that. Like how the parents take care of them and they don't want to do that back when the parents are struggling when they're older. They just leave them and then send them away because they can't be bothered. And that's just so sad. My best friend convinced me to have a couple of drinks together. Next thing you know, I'm carrying him on my back at 1am to his house. We were 16 at the time. Police came and arrested us. It was when quarantine first started in Greece. Nothing really happened with the cops. They just phoned our parents and waited. Both our parents came to the police station. They asked whose idea was it. I knew that if I told it was my friend's idea, he would be screwed. So I just told them that it was mine. I got grounded for two weeks and he got for one. I actually told my father a while ago that it was his idea and I took the blame for him. He laughed and said, my son is a loyal friend. I'm pretty sure his parents probably knew. Buddy was married with two young children. He was unable to get away from his job, wife and kids. His wife is also a bit of a helicopter wife, if that makes sense. I don't know what that is, but okay. My buddy and I have a bond over baseball. Hadn't seen him in a long time, so we went to Blue Jays game. During the game, his wife constantly texted him, reminding he had to come straight home when the game was going to be over. My buddy stated, it's a Saturday afternoon. I haven't seen you in ages or been out in a while. I want to go to a pub after for drinks, but need an excuse that will give me an extra hour or two. On Saturdays, the Jays would have Junior Jays Saturdays, where 45 minutes after the game, if you were 12 and under, you could wait in a long line and run the bases. I told my buddy to tell his wife that I was trying to hit on a hot single mum who had a baby but also a 4 year old who wanted to run the bases and offered to take the 4 year old around the bases with the intent to get a number. Mission accomplished as we headed after the game for a couple beers. A month later, I was at his house and the first thing his wife says to me is, you are such a pathetic sleaze ball. Um, the wife sounds like someone no one wants to be around. <laughs> what the heck? Let the man just enjoy one day, man. Jeez, married life is scary. <laughs> Having a sleepover at a friend's house, like five or six of us, we started what was a babysitting group in school and all became close friends. Regular sleepovers at one friend's house. We would all sleep in her parents' bed since it was a king and would fit us all. Parents slept in the guest room. We wake up and someone had wet the bed. We didn't know who. It wasn't me. My friend's mum is livid. She has all of us stand and tries to figure out who wet the bed. First, she asked. No one said anything. Checked our pyjamas and it was inconclusive. So she gave us an ultimatum. If no one admits to it, no more sleepovers. After a couple of seconds, I say it was me. I was punished pretty bad, mostly for not owning up to it originally, even though it wasn't even me. And every time I slept over after that, I had to wear a diaper. But we still got to have regular sleepovers, which was worth it. Oh my gosh. Why was the person's mum so mean though? Like, wetting a bed? That's nothing. People don't want to wet a bed on purpose. That's so mean. You'd really punish someone for wetting the bed. I took one for the team and I kept my alcoholic ex out of the dating pool for a few years. You're welcome, ladies. <laughs> Those few years, he couldn't ruin any other person's life. Oh, this girl has your back. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.